for me, it's just about every day trying to be a better person. I, I love one quote that I have actually in my personal email from Che Guevara where he says, um, at the risk of sounding ridiculous, let me say that a true revolutionary is guided by the feelings of love. And I really believe in that. You know, I think that, you know, if you start with love and you and you then you go forward in anything you want to do, it's, it's going to, you know, everything else is, is going to sort of fall into place. Um, not to say that there isn't work that you have to put in to make things happen and to, to try to, you know, have the life you want to live and that sort of thing, because it hasn't been easy. And I know that there's some people that if they, you know, they know me from well back to now, you know, I, I'm not a completely different person. I mean, I am who I am, and I think that, to the core, I think that I am a good person, but I think I'm a much better person these days, and definitely, like I said, much happier than I, than I used to be. Hi, my name is Catherine Marroquin, and I am the director of the College Connect program at Mission Graduates, mm -hmm. and I've been with Mission Graduates, um, will be in three years this September. Basically, the work that we do here is we get mission kids into college. Our mission statement of our organization is to increase the number of mission youth that go to college, and that's exactly what College Connect does. Uh, my family's from, originally from Bogota, Colombia. I was born uh, here in San Francisco at General Hospital, and um, family lived on Folsom for many years, but when I was still pretty young, my parents moved to Concord because they wanted to get a house. When I was, um, you know, it was time for me to move up, sort of thing, I, I moved back to San Francisco. As a teenager and kind of growing up, we had a lot of, you know, internal struggles at home. Um, my dad was alcoholic, abusive, and, and it was just really a difficult place to grow up. So, uh, I was a first generation college student, so I'm the youngest of three, and I'm the only one that went to college. There was nobody really to guide me through this process. It was a long process for me, it took me a long time to finally get my degree, but it's um, something that I want to be able to come back to my community and give back. So the families and the students that were in my same position, I want to be able to guide them through this process so that they're making all the smart decisions, they're not making the mistakes that I made, and it's easier for them. They don't have to struggle as the way that I did when I did it my way, which was just really unguided and, and, and learning step by step as I went along. My definition of happiness is loving the work that I do. I love working with youth. It's something that, you know, my very first job that I got was working with youth when I was 18. So I was a, I was a youth working with youth, but I knew from that moment that this is the kind of work that I want to do. Uh, students that I work with are really inspirational to me and the families I work with. Working with young people, I just see myself when I was in high school and the things that you guys are going through, and it's just inspiring to me just to keep going and doing the work that I, that I do. Other inspirations is just, is, is my family. I spend a lot of time with my family, I have a lot of family in the Bay Area, so um, we're, we're pretty close. So I like to do just, uh, just projects with friends, like if somebody has to you know, fix their backyard or something. I like working on backyards and things like that. But, you know, I love to go out and go dancing. I like to check out art shows. Just going out and hanging out with friends, having dinner with friends, things like that. I hope that people um, will remember me as, you know, a good person, passionate about the work that I do, um, that I cared about um, my community and my family and the work that I do. Um, and hopefully just especially people that have known me since I was a kid and to who I am now, uh, see that I really put in work to try to make some changes in my life and to try to be happy and to be a better person and, and uh, to, to have a happy life. So I really want to go back to school. You know, again, I think my students really inspire me. I, I'd love to go back to grad school and I'm thinking about, uh, you know, what it is that I, that I want to study. So that's something that um, I'm really hoping to, to get back to and, and to do. I want to have a family and I want to have a home and uh, I want to buy a house and, and uh, uh, continue to travel, continue to learn. And I'm the happiest I've ever been in my life because I've been able to break down and look at myself really uh, critically and try to find some connections of things that have happened in my past and why I'm the way I am now and what I want to change. And so I've been able to do that and, you know, I'm always going to be a work in progress. I'm always going to continue to try to be a better person. Mm -hmm.